What's up guys, this is Yoro Trash here, and today I'm doing an open response to Mr. Repzion. He made a video last week about bronies, and specifically cloppers, that I would like to respond to. Now, I've been a fan of Mr. Repzion for some years now, since he started making videos about atheism and religion. He doesn't make them anymore, he makes videos about social issues, gaming, self-help, vlogs, and that sort of thing. And I'm not going to unsubscribe to him just because he's done one video that I don't like. Now on his video he featured another video, which is a brony taking it to the extreme. I will show you a few clips right now. Be warned, it is kind of graphic. Hello again, this is Clapabite. This is my second video. I had some discussions with uh, people over, our ponies over at the uh, clapping... Uh, Reddit uh, IRC chat, and I, I learned some things um, about I learned some things about myself. One thing is that I consider clapping to be an art form, <laughs> and I consider it to be something that can be classy and something that can be disgusting. Uh, most people think that clapping is disgusting, I think, but uh, I think that uh, it can be classy. Uh, one thing that would make it classy is the uh, the aversion to uh, if you put the genitals off camera. Now that seems weird to a clapper, but it won't hear me out. Um, th think think about um, Flutter beep. Uh, Fluttershy gets beeped in the maze. You never actually see her her genitals, but you see her humping Discord. You don't really know she's humping Discord until the last moment. You see. That one video had more impact on me than all the video, all the pictures of ponies just flashing their vaginas. Oh gosh, I, I had a really great night tonight. I had a, a really good night tonight, you know. Everything went just as planned, perfect, you know. There's been something I've been wanting to ask you all night, but I, gosh, I, I was wondering if, you know, if maybe you'd like to have sex with me later. Whoa! What the fuck? That's it. I'm done. I see. I I'm sorry. No, no, no. It's my fault. No, Dashi. It's my fault. I shouldn't have asked that. I went too far. <laughs> Look at me. I can't even handle myself. Dashi, it's okay. No, 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 no. <laughs> I need a moment to myself. I should have known she'd never say yes. I can't go back into that room. I can't go back and see her. I guess it's always good to have a backup plan. I never thought I'd have to use it, but... I can't think of any other way to get out of this situation. Now the clips that he gave, I doubt they are legit. There are no links. So I can't check it out any further. I think this video is satire. I think this guy is trying to make cloppers look worse than they are. Don't get me wrong, they are bad. He's trying to make cloppers look so bad that it drags down the entire brony fanbase. And generalising the entire brony fanbase on one video is one of the most intellectually dishonest things you can do. Like I say, Mr. Repzion used to make videos based on atheism and religion, so allow me to make a comparison. Stalin killed people. Stalin was an atheist. Therefore, all atheists kill people. This guy is a brony, he's also a freak. Therefore, all bronies are freaks. That's not true. You've seen a video of a brony that is disgusting and distasteful, and you think, is this what all bronies are really like? No, that's what one brony is really like. Most bronies are casual bronies, like me. They'll watch the show, they'll maybe watch a few pony related uh, videos on YouTube, like fan animations, they'll maybe produce some fan animations, they'll maybe produce some pictures to put up on the internet. Now, why does MLP Pony even exist in the first place? Well, Rule 34. If something exists, there is porn of it. 
literally anything and everything to ever exist, there will be porn of it somewhere on the internet. Whether it's animals, whether it's monsters, whether it's space aliens. If it's being made, there is porn that has been made. So what do you think of cloppers? Well, leave your opinion down below in the comments section. And what exactly is a brony? Why would adult males want to watch a show for 8 to 10 year old girls? Well my friends, that is a topic for another video. So be sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss out. I will catch you in the next one.